un certain moment, il faut glisser un, un facteur humain. Merci. Merci. significant part of new self-employed are actually between 50 and 65 and they're in construction. Talent today is more than your pay, than your payroll. I was nature director and my talent was my payroll. And there's much more outside there. Rethink, you have to rethink all your processes and create spaces to reach this new workforce. There are companies that are thinking in doing a corporate co-working, where freelance can share with the current employees. And work on the employability of your people, because you're going to die. As a company, yours, you have this life expectancy of 15 years today. Oh, this is, wow. I think yeah. here in Europe, uh, the knowledge uh, workers are quantified to be uh, more or less 25 percent. Mm -hmm. So I'm worried about the other 75 yeah, percent yeah. that we will left out, and these transient uh, jobs. And yeah. I'm afraid that it will increase inequality now. Yes, yeah. and it's not just that you're constantly precarious, but that if you look at the work experience or work uh, life, it's very much uh, you know ups and downs. So you'll have one job and maybe out of job maybe another type of job and even within a, uh, you know, if everything is organized around projects within an organization, mm -hmm. we'll to do one project and something else, etc. So there's no continuity. And so the, the, the big issue, the big question I always have is how um, can uh, individuals sort of maintain a, a narrative of their skill sets or of, of their experiences? Because clearly, uh, because the experiences can be so different, the jobs can be so different, uh, you don't have a sort of accumulation as you had in the past of you know, a growing skill that the, more, the older you get, the more work you do, the greater the skill, because it can be very different. And so the, the, the question that I have is, you know, can knowledge actually and can knowledge management actually help people to, and, and their employees to maintain a sense of continuity, uh, provide uh, a, a better understanding of what the skills are, uh, etc., which is not only a benefit for the employee, and, and, but also for the, for the company. If a company is closing or if they're fired, if they go, uh, so in, in, in American films, they give them the box and they go away. In Europe, what happens is that for the, 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 the two weeks before they leave, they're copying every single file on the computer and trying to take away, in a certain sense, the knowledge they have created. Yeah. Internally, it's constantly um, taking you know, people who change, are changing roles, uh, who move around the organization. So can one think about um, models of, um, you know, of, of, of representing the individual knowledge in a, in, in a way um, that is beneficial for the individual but also for the company. Okay, somehow there has to be a new way. I'm always interested in, in, in thinking about tools and designing a tool that would allow people to you know, reinvent the way in which they can describe you know, what they do, what they know, what they've accumulated. You know, the CV is so ridiculously yes. up, you know, old fashioned because it's based on precise certifications, etc. You know, what people know how to do. And nowadays, a lot of the things you know how to do are very difficult to describe in those terms because they're made in projects, because they're made with other people, etc. And so my dream is, is that, you know, what type of knowledge tool can one build that allows you to sort of somehow accumulate, you know, and, you know, the, the different levels of knowledge that you, that you, that you have, which would include the, the you know, the, the passions, the hobbies, etc. Yes. Um, the, the, this brings us to uh, to understanding a company like the layers uh, where you have the, the internal company with with uh, the people in the payroll uh, you have, have freelance yes. you have people on the cloud that are yes. collaborating uh, and, and maybe you, you you have better knowledge of the skills the people outside, outside your company yes, yes. because you enter one of those platforms like Odesk or and, and you see whatever they are, who are, yes. and then you see blocks and you say that. 
and you don't know nothing the people sitting at, at your side. Yes, no, it's true. Yeah. When people have a very um, transient um, yeah. lives and they move, you know, uh, and they're in a certain sense are in, the, in a precarious situation, and this can be inside a, an organization as well because they're moving around, that it's very difficult to, um, to build up a, you know, a wider network. Uh, yeah. And that, in fact, you tend to fall back on to a very close network. And this can happen, you know, uh, with your family, but it can happen inside an organization mm -hmm. that basically, because everything is so mobile, then in the, in the end you, you, you just fall back on to, you know, the three, four, five people with whom you've worked most, yes. with whom you have some form of affinity. And, and if we think that organizations, you know, are talking so much about network organization and open organization, etc., so you have this sort of huge contrast between, you know, the expectations of openness and extension, etc., and, and the reality of people actually, you know, closing themselves into into quite a limited um, number of contacts. And so the other tool or challenge is to say, well, you know, how do you how do you expand that? You know, what what, what is the way in a certain sense? To help and to ensure that this dream of a, you know, an open network is actually happening. Maybe could we could uh, these knowledge managers could could work with another companies to work a knowledge platform uh, where where uh, where the knowledge flies with the people. Yes, yes. I don't know. And also, but I'm also thinking because you know. Companies tend to organize these internal networks, the intranets yeah. that allow you to see everybody. But they're internal, 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 internal. They're internal, and, and you're right. I mean, most organizations are now mixed. There's hybrids. You know, you have some internal, some external, some freelancers, some uh, uh, suppliers, etc. And, and you know, and how does this all uh, get get organized? But there's certainly something to do around. You know, a new way of combining. Um, the accumulation of experience onto something, and then linking it with uh, with uh, with other people, and the, the, I feel that the need is even more urgent now because it's so mm -hmm. transient and moving and project based, etc. Yeah. Um, I guess at the moment the only way it's really done is through the project. The project is a unifying uh, element; it's the output of the project which shows. Um, but then. Yeah, but you, you lose the project when you leave yeah, the company. Or when you even move it within the company. Yeah. You know. But because we are always living with this idea that there's a you know one skill, you know, even in if you're a blue collar or yeah. you know a traditional so that there was one skill and you acquired more skills. But now if if the jobs are, are varied then you know, even in, in that sector you, you don't do the same thing. Again, there's the issue, you know, how do I put this together? Because your experiences yeah. have a value, you know what I mean? And you are probably better, you know, for after five years of even of changing jobs, you still have a, you know, a valuable experience. Probably better more than, than staying in a company. Say, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how do, you, how do you put that? And I think that's still the, the challenge for me. Okay. Okay? Great. Um, well, I don't know if you can make something coherent of this. <laughs>